Hi, Sonoff has released a new version of their ZigBee 3.0 USB dongle plus the ZB dongle E. In this video, I'll show you how to set it up in Home Assistant and share some tips to help you get the most out of this ZigBee stick. Let's get started right away. The new Dongle E version of the popular Sonoff Zigbee stick differs from the previous Dongle P version. You can see these differences on this side here. You can recognize the stick by the text ZB Dongle E on the box. In addition, this stick is about 5.1 cm long, which is a bit shorter than the ZB Dongle P. This tutorial shows you how to install both Sonoff Zigbee sticks with Zigbee 2 MQTT in Home Assistant. Despite the fact that this stick is currently still classified as experimental on the ZigBee 2 MQTT site, I still took the plunge. I've tested this stick extensively over the past few days and even transferred my entire house to the Sonoff ZigBee Dongle E. For this, I linked this stick to ZigBee 2 MQTT in Home Assistant. I'll show you how you can do that first. At the end of the video, I share my experiences and give tips to make this stick work as good as possible. To get the stick working in Home Assistant, you need to do the following. We will first create a user that will be used by the Mosquito MQTT add-on. Go to Settings, go to People, click on Add Person, name the person MQTT User. Click on Allow Person to log in, enter a password, enter the password again, Click on can only log in from the local network and click create. Now we are going to find out what our zone of Zigbee stick is called in our system. Go back to settings, go to system, go to hardware, click on the three dots at the top right, click on all hardware. Now search for your zone of stick in the list and click on the arrow next to it to open it. At devlinks, select the value that starts with slash dev slash serial slash by ID and copy it to your clipboard. Now we are going to install the Mosquito MQTT add-on. This ensures that Zigbee to MQTT can send the values of your Zigbee devices to Home Assistant and vice versa. Go back to settings, go to add-ons, click on add-on store, search for MQTT and click on Mosquito Broker. Click on Install now. After the installation is complete, you can click on Watchdog. Then click on Start. Now go back to Settings. Go to Devices and Services. Click Configure in the MQTT card. If you don't see the MQTT card, you can first look it up at Search Integrations. Sometimes it's necessary to refresh your browser's cache before you can see this MQTT card. Click Submit now and click Finish. Superb! The Mosquito MQTT broker is now installed. Now we are going to install Zigbee to MQTT. Go to Settings, go to Add-ons, go to Add-on Store. We now need to add a custom repository to install Zigbee to MQTT. Click on the three dots at the top right, click on Repositories, now enter the following repository URL. The link can be found in the description below the video. Click on Add and click on Close. Refresh your browser now. You should now see two Zigbee to MQTT add-ons in the list. The production version and the development or edge version. Click on the Zigbee to MQTT card and click Install. Zigbee to MQTT is now installed. Click on Watchdog and show in sidebar after the installation is complete. Now we need to configure Zigbee to MQTT. Go to Configuration, put the following data in the MQTT field. The server is MQTT Core Mosquito with port 1883. The user is the user we created earlier, which is MQTT user. And the password is the password you entered for that user. Then enter the following information in the serial field. The port is the value of the stick you put on your clipboard, so you can paste it with Ctrl V. If you have the son of Zigbee dongle E, then please add adapter colon EZSP. You don't really have to do that if you have the older Zigbee dongle P. Now click on save. 
Now go to the info tab and click start. In the log tab, you can see if the startup is going well. If you get error messages in the log, it could be due to several things. You can go to this site to check exactly what the problem on your system is. The link is in the description below. If everything went well, you can now open ZigBee2MQTT. In the left menu, go to ZigBee2MQTT. We are now going to pair some devices. Click on Permit Join All. Now put your device into pairing mode. In my case, that is an IKEA light bulb and an Akara motion sensor. You will see that ZigBee2MQTT will discover and configure the devices. This can take a while and sometimes it doesn't work in one go. You might have to repair a device several times before it is recognized. If everything went well, you will see the devices in the overview of ZigBee2MQTT with a photo of each device. If you click on the device, under Exposes, you see what sensors have been detected by ZigBee2MQTT. You can also control the device here. Now first change the name of the devices so that we can easily recognize them in Home Assistant. Click on the blue icon next to the device. Give the device a friendly name. Click Update Home Assistant Entity ID, then click on Rename Device. Do this for all the devices in the list. The devices now work in ZigBee2MQTT. Now we will search the devices in Home Assistant to see if they work there. Go back to Settings, click on Devices and Services, click on the Devices tab, find the devices in the list. My Akara Motion Sensor and IKEA Light Bulb are listed, so ZigBee2MQTT was able to successfully connect to the Mosquito MQTT add-on. When I open the IKEA Light Bulb, you see that I can control it in Home Assistant. When I open the Akara Motion Sensor, you see that the values of the sensors are passed on neatly. So, we managed to install ZigBee2MQTT and get it working in Home Assistant with the Sonoff ZigBee 3.0 USB Dongle Plus ZB Dongle E. If you want to buy the Sonoff ZigBee 3.0 USB Dongle Plus ZB Dongle E, you can click on the link in the description. There's also a discount code with which you can get a discount of 15% on your purchase. I get a small affiliate fee for your purchase without it costing you extra money and you support me a little bit for making this video. The discount code is only available for a limited time, so order it quickly. Then I have some tips with which you can get the Sonoff ZigBee ZB Dongle E working as well as possible in your home. I spent about a day repairing all my devices in the house and I discovered the following best practices. First of all, disable the default ZigBee integration ZHA in Home Assistant. You cannot run ZHA and ZigBee2MQTT at the same time using the same stick. Second, use a USB extension cable between your ZigBee stick and your Home Assistant server. Third, first pair all your powered devices such as your lamps and then your battery powered devices. My fourth tip is, normally I pair all my devices at the location where I'm going to use them, but that turned out to be very difficult with this stick. Somehow this stick struggled to quickly set up the ZigBee mesh network. As a result, zigbee to mqtt was able to find the devices, but interviewing the devices did not always go well. In the end, I paired all my devices close to the stick and got everything paired. My fifth tip is, if a device cannot be paired properly the first time, try a few more times. Usually it goes well the second or third time. And then the pro tip, use a smart plug and this Home Assistant script to pair your IKEA light bulbs. This script ensures that the lamps are switched on and off at the correct time interval so that they always immediately enter pairing mode. IKEA lamps are very sensitive to the correct interval to put them in pairing mode and this script saves you a lot of time and frustration. You can find the link to this script in the description below the video. And uh, thanks Frank from Home Assistant for this script. I hope this video helped you and I want to thank everyone who has supported me so far in making these videos and tutorials. I could never have done this without you. Thank you. If you also want to support me, see how you can do that in the description of this video. With that, you make it possible that I can continue to make these videos for you. Oh, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up 
subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I will see you soon. Bye bye.